This is what happens when Construction Academy students from Leesburg High School come together with Habitat for Humanity of Lake and Sumter County, construction professionals, and the city of Leesburg for one extraordinary hands-on experience. Together, building a dream home for one well-deserving family. This is Habitat Academy. The finishing touches are going into the house now. Lighting fixtures, ceiling fans, and even the kitchen sink. It won't be long before the homeowner finally gets to move in. Daniel Dykus visits the site to discuss the final plumbing steps. Ross Plumbing is a Leesburg company. This is your third year to be participating with the Construction Academy. First off, what do you think about the students working on the job site? Do you see any future plumbers here? Yes, I do. I've seen a lot of talent there that uh, hopefully you know, we can draw one into our industry at the end of the year. Take us through the various parts we're using in the finished plumbing of this project. Well, Don, the parts that we're gonna use for this uh, project are gonna be provided by Hughes Supply of Leesburg. They're gonna provide us with all the toilets, the faucets, the sinks, uh, the chrome finishes for the uh, tub and showers, uh, as well as the water heater uh, for this project. And I'm assuming you hope to find a few service plumbers. That, that is the hope, you know, get, get some of these young kids into our new construction industry, maybe into the commercial industry, and then give them a chance at service. I mean, wherever the, the, they feel comfortable and want to take their, their life to. How important is this Habitat Academy and project to companies like Ross Plumbing? Well, it's important to Ross Plumbing for the ability to give back to the community and we need to, this program to show kids that plumbing is a career, it, it's a necessity and you can make a good living at it uh, if you choose to do it. We're, we're just investing in the future so that we can get more skilled tradesmen at a younger age. To date, the LHS Dream Team has been focused on the building of the house. Whether they fully understand the impact yet or not, they're actually building a home. And with the stability of homeownership comes both mental and physical wellness. As longtime advocates for health and wellness in the community, UF Health Leesburg has a vested interest in what these students are doing to help improve the quality of life for the residents served by the hospital and its medical team. The mission for UF Health is to improve uh, the health and quality of life for the individuals and communities we serve. And so there's nothing better than what you've done and, and working on this house and that demonstrate that mission, and I appreciate all that you've done. We're excited to be a part of Habitat for Humanity and supporting your development, as well as the development of, of uh, safe uh, homes for the community. I think the pandemic has really demonstrated to us how important uh, having a safe house and a safe habitat is for uh, our communities. We've been working from home, we've been doing school from home. Several of you probably did uh, school from home for months, and. Now we're starting to get back, but it really emphasized how important it is for our, our physical well-being, our emotional well-being, and our psychological well-being to have a place to come home to and feel safe and secure. We've been a part of the community for almost 58 years and uh, been a, a longtime supporter of Habitat. And I want to thank you for your effort in terms of helping construct and putting the screws and the siding up on, on houses like this. But I want you all to think about how this house is gonna impact the people that are gonna be living in it. Just think about not only the impact you've had in terms of the, the construction and how it's helped you, but how it's gonna impact the lives of, uh, of the family that's gonna be in this house. So thank you very much. Habitat is all about the people. Not just the Dream Team students, but also the other people that are integral to the success of the project. Among those are the volunteers that are donating their time, labor, and skills to ensure that the home is completed on time. I was very impressed with the, uh, the students that we had working here at the Leesburg House. Very um, respectful, um, nice. Um, they were outgoing and um, really, really impressed with the caliber of, of students we had. I have enjoyed watching them go from no clue of what's going on to 
teaching them how to do it and then having them do it and be successful and you know kind of have the light come on for them. The thing I tried to impart to them was care about what you're doing, do a good job, do it right the first time, and put attention to detail in your work. Do quality work, something you can be proud of. If there's one thing I would say to the students, it would be to be a sponge, to soak up all that you're learning from the site supervisors and the volunteers who are helping you and teaching you along the way because you're getting some invaluable teaching uh, of how to do things that people don't normally get. Even if they never work in the construction industry, just learning the basics of how electric works, uh, basic plumbing, basic carpentry, using a tape measure, um, cutting 45 degree angles, putting baseboard in, you know, just general math, fractions, a lot of stuff you can pick up from what we're doing here. And when you have your own house, you may learn enough to where you don't have to call a professional to come in, you can fix it yourself. Because of COVID, most of the world shut down. But luckily for Habitat Academy, the program was able to continue and thrive. Though celebrations were scaled back and masks were required, the students were able to work safely on the Habitat home. Linneo Weissman shares some insight on how the project has grown since its inception. Here we are um, at the end of the second year of our Habitat partnership and we're at the Leesburg House and it is almost complete. The district and the state and the community are all very invested in the Construction Academy, not only at Leesburg High School but also at South Lake and Eustis High School. Really the Leesburg High School is the model that started it all, so of course we could not do this with out the support in the community. The contractors in the area, especially Leesburg, they, they are so invested in their community and the students, and they are what make the magic happen, truly. I get phone calls all the time. Um, how can I get my, my child into the Construction Academy? There is a high demand, and I know in Leesburg and South Lake, they're, they have more students requesting the class than they can handle, so they already have waiting lists. What happens frequently is students sign up for the construction class because it sounds like fun or their friends are signing up. And what they realize once they get into it is they love building, they love learning the skills involved, and they learn about the different career opportunities there are in construction. They want to make money. Our two young ladies, Krista and Ariel, I am especially proud of them. You know, it's not easy to be a lady in a man's world, and they have grown so much. They never back down from a challenge. They are never intimidated. They just step in and do what needs to be done. The industry is really beginning to see that women bring their own benefits and they bring their own insights and their own talents and for Krista and Ariel that is especially true. They're going to be project leaders one day. The district is incredibly proud of this program and where it, the way that it has developed over the last two years and the students in particular. It's just a, a source of, of pride and good news for our community. With a growing shortage of skilled tradesmen and women, companies like Electric Services Incorporated find the Habitat project vital in potentially securing future employees and building interest in the field of electricity. Jimmy Adams from Electric Services Incorporated, we're so happy that you're back on site here at Habitat Academy. Tell us about the different skill sets needed to do Finnish Electric. Well, the finished electric actually takes a little bit more of a finessing look because that's the product that the owner or, or the end user is going to see for the rest of their life. It's just amazing how much a finessing eye makes a difference in a final product. What have you and ESI gotten out of this experience? Well, I think uh, there's a lot of worth that comes with this experience. One, it's, it's our opportunity to obviously give back. But at the same time, you get to see the growth. You get to see the business opportunities. You get to see future employees. I mean, let's face it, we want to grab every bit of talent we can from the local resources. 
How important is it to actually work on a real project for these students instead of just trying to learn it out of a book or a classroom simulation? I'd say it's imperative. I'd say there's no comparison to the difference between learning it in a controlled environment versus going out and actually seeing in the field and, and working through the problems that every, every project has. Those are imperative skills that you will never get in a classroom setting. Many Habitat volunteers show up daily to work on the house. One volunteer shares his experience working with the next generation of tradespeople. For years, I've always had an interest in construction, but my job before I retired didn't really give me the chance to get involved with that anywhere. So when I moved down here to, uh, and retired, moved down to the villages, I thought this would be a perfect place for me to, to be able to learn about all the things that I've read about for a long time. The site managers that I've worked with have been absolutely tremendous. They are a great group of guys, you know, they're good leaders in uh, helping all of the Habitat people, as well as the students, learn how to do construction and learn how to work with people and how to make things happen. You can do whatever, as much or as little as you want. People will show you. Absolutely great place to learn how to do construction. It was fascinating to watch the development of the personalities of the students. You show some of how to do something and the, some of the kids will pick right up on it right away. Other of the kids need a little bit help. The kids that picked up on it right away would oftentimes turn around and help their students learn whatever it was that they were having a little trouble picking up on. So it's a good uh, development for them as students as well as human beings. You know, they participate in something and they have that responsibility and the sense of pride that they had in developing that house. Ten years from now, they can buy, go by that house and say, oh, look, I helped build that house. With the inside of the home now complete, the students shift their focus to the final touches on the outside. On the job site, the Dream Team isn't afraid of getting their hands dirty. But today is a little different. The Construction Academy students are being joined by their Leesburg High School agricultural classmates to place the sod for the Habitat House. Leesburg High School agricultural educator Kelsey Croft talks about how her students got involved this year. Today the agriculture students and the construction students from Leesburg High School are here at the Habitat for Humanity House laying sod um, and doing some landscaping here for the house to add some finishing touches to the house before it's done. Barry who runs the Habitat for Humanity House reached out to Mr. Russ to see if uh, the Ag Department would be interested in helping with landscaping and it was an awesome opportunity so we took part in it. Landscaping is a huge portion of agriculture in the industry here in Florida. So, of course, um, tourism is number one industry in Florida, where agriculture and landscaping is number two. Um, so this is a big opportunity for kids to maybe see if this is a job that they want in the future, or just to see what's out here and to know, um, you know what landscaping is and what all goes on with it. The weather today is beautiful. Uh, we get a great view of the lake across the street, but I just love seeing the kids work and work together and be a team. The kids were super excited this morning, which makes my heart happy that they are excited to get out and to work and give back to the community. I've always wanted to give back to the community. That's why a big reason I became a teacher at Leesburg High School. So I'm always wanting to give back to our community. So if I can instill that on my students, I've done my job. Construction and agriculture are two areas that often cross paths in the home building process. The students discuss what it's like working together to lay down the lawn. I decided to get into agriculture because it would help me both learn more, learn more about both plant and animal science and that's mainly the field I want to get into when I get older. Being able to come out here and to help out like with this house and everything is really cool. My favorite part is being able to work with different people than what we normally do and potentially make in friendships throughout high school. It's fun because we get to interact with other people. I didn't really know any of the construction kids before this experience, but I'm really glad I'm getting to know them. Now since they're out here, they get to be a part of it and saying when they go home, hey, I worked on the Habitat for Humanity house. 
It feels really amazing knowing that I am helping out another family and to come out and like help this house and everything. It's really an amazing experience. In the next webisode of Habitat Academy Season 2, our dedication kicks off with fun and fanfare. And homeowner Jessica and her son Otto finally get to see their completed home. We're building towards something big, so join us for the next webisode of Habitat Academy Season 2. Production support for Habitat Academy Season 2 is provided by Romac Building and Supply, Habitat for Humanity of Lake and Sumter County, UF Health Leesburg, the City of Leesburg, and is a production of Red Apples Media.